International mediators are hoping to kickstart ceasefire talks and hold off on an Iranian attack on Israel. Trey Yings has more on the progress. Intense fighting continues in southern Gaza as Israel presses ahead with its new offensive. Officials here say they are determined to keep fighting Hamas as they also prepare to face a likely Iranian strike. Diplomats from Qatar, Egypt and the West are hoping to kickstart the ceasefire progress with a new round of talks set to begin Thursday. And the U.S. is pushing Israel to limit civilian casualties, hoping to lure Hamas back to the bargaining table. Israel has a right to pursue Hamas. Israel has a right to respond to threats. But how it does that matters. We've also seen an uptick in attacks by Iranian proxies over the past 24 hours, including an attempted strike on a U.S. base in Syria and the destruction of two Houthi vessels by the U.S. Navy. American diplomats are now trying to get those groups to back off and give the latest round of talks a chance. The more time goes by of daily conflict, the more the odds and the chances go up for accidents, for mistakes, for inadvertent targets to be hit that could easily cause escalation that gets out of control. Iran also indicated that they could hold off striking Israel if a ceasefire agreement is reached. Hamas has signaled they won't be at the talks, but President Biden says he still thinks a deal can be reached. It's getting hard. We'll see what, you, we'll see what Iran does and we'll see what happens if there's any attack. But I'm not giving up. The White House announced Tuesday it approved $20 billion in military aid to Israel, including fighter jets and air-to-air -air missiles. In Haifa, Trey Yankst, Fox 32, Chicago. Brian, back to you.